quarter. So let's take a look at the race three highlights. That rolling start. And there may be a few things to look at for the stewards with people crossing and maybe overlapping before the start finish line, which is a no-no in the regulations. Scotty Cameron, though, who was one of those drivers, just got caught out as he entered turn two. And it looks like he did it all on his own there, just losing the rear end. He managed to get that car back up and running. Remember, he had that rear end issue at the start of race number one. We were watching our drivers much further back in the order, though. Drivers like Jordan Caruso and Tony Riccadello. Brad Shields also making his way up through the order. But Jordan Caruso, the big mover, he was up a massive amount of spots and actually found his way into the lead inside the first three or four laps of that race. And what a way to do it was Jordan Caruso. This was the move that got him that race win. And it was on Ashley Jarvis in the 44 who ended up being our round winner. He left the door wide open for Jordan Caruso, knew that the faster car should get through at some stage and made it nice and easy for him. Here is where Tony Riccadello, our eventual race two, or position two in race three, he got through in turn three on Ashley Jarvis as well. Jarvis, knowing he was on for a good point, so didn't make, need to make life too difficult. And unfortunately, we saw that drama with the front left of Brad Shields, who was on for another great result. You can't take anything away from out season 2022 series champion in Jordan Caruso currently sits fourth in the series